Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick little video on why I think Calendly is one of the best game changers this year for 2021. I've been using it for about seven weeks now and it's absolutely changed my business for the better. It's improved my customer experience, it's made my workflows more smoother and it's just really, really simple to use. So let me show you. So it's really, really simple thing to use. It can be free, so you don't have to use the, um, the premium or the pro to pay for it monthly. You can get the basic and still create a wonderful system for your clients. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I do in my business and how I've been creating a really nice workflow and how I've just been creating a wonderful little seamless experience for my clients to book products with me. So the biggest thing with Calendly is that you can integrate so many different things. So as you know, I'm recording this on Zoom and you can perfectly integrate Zoom. And I actually use Zoom as probably one of the main things and Stripe as one of the connectors for my business. But to give you an idea of what it looks like, it's basically an online calendar where you can fill out your own availability and then you can integrate your different products such as Zoom or Stripe or MS Teams and book in slots. Now, as a professional magician, I use Calendly to book in uh, wedding consultations. I use it to book in podcast conversations for the Unlock podcast and uh, catch ups as well with maybe networks or relationships that I've uh, not met yet. And maybe I just want to have a discovery chat. And it works really, really simple. You get your calendar. So along the top, you've got your availability. And all you do is you fill out your availability for the month or you can do six months ahead, whatever you want to do. I basically do it for about four or five weeks because I plan my calendar every four or five weeks and you just fill out the diary. So like I've done here, you can see that I've got the 9th of February down to the 5th of March. And uh, so, for example, let's just go on to this date here. Uh, the 16th is my birthday. That's why I love that date. And you can see that I've put unavailable. And that is because I don't want to work on my birthday. But it's a really cool thing. If you want to change, chop or edit the dates, it's so simple. All you do is you select the date. So let's say I decided that I was going to work on my birthday, which would be pretty pants. But um, all you do is you click the date that you want. So we'll go for the 16th. Let's get rid of the 17th. And I'll click on the plus. And then you just change your dates. And let's say, for example, um, yeah, do you know what? I'm, I'm free till about nine till two because I'm going to have the afternoon off for my birthday. All you do is you click apply. And then you will now see that on the 16th, it says nine till two is my availability. Now, let's say, for example, I've made a mistake. I can go on to edit date, go on to it, delete it. It then deletes the time and says that I'm unavailable. Click apply. And there you go. Now, as you can see, I've pretty much done that throughout all of February. And uh, there's certain things, certain events, online shows and consultations that I've got booked in already. So that's why some dates are smaller. But again, you can fit it around your life and your business. For example, if you only work four or five hours a day, stick the time in there. And uh, this then integrates with all of your booking systems. So that's the first step, really. You sort out your availability in your calendar. And then the next thing is you arrange all of your different events. So if I go on to here, this is the home screen. This is how you um, sort out your events. And as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, some of these are the events that come with Calendly. But what I've done on here is I've uh, created a couple for myself. So these three, I decided to create these for conversations for discovery chats. So that would be for people that I've never met before. Or for example, if I just want to catch up with a supplier or catch up with a friend, then I can also use this for personal as well as business. But the main thing that I wanted to create for was because of these two. As a professional magician in lockdown currently at the time of recording this, um, I can't obviously get out to people to show them what I do in the wedding industry. So like most people, we're doing a lot of online consultations and this is the onboarding system where people can then book their slots. And also because I run a podcast called The Unlock Podcast, I also use this to book in interviews with guests. And this is what makes this so, so worthwhile doing. So if you have the free, uh, free session, I think you can only get like one or two, but if you obviously pay for the monthly fee for the uh, eight pounds, you can then get as many as you like. But let me show you what this looks like. So just remember that we filled out availability for the calendar. So we know now what we're available and then you can edit these to what you want to do. So for example, if I go on to this one here to a client, this is what it would look like. They get sent this link. So if I just go back that link there, you would copy the link and you send it to your client. And then obviously this is what they would then click on. So let's say, for example, a client gets in touch with me. They want to book me for a consultation to find out more about my services and products. All I do is I send them this little link from here. I copy the link, put it in an email to them. And then when they click the link, this is the screen that they will get. 
Now, at the minute, I've just set this to these three dates just for a tester so that I can show you what actually happens. So this is what it is. Um, and obviously, you can put your branding on it as well. With the free account, you can't change the branding. It does say Calendly on it. So if you do pay for the monthly fee, which is $8, so in the UK, uh, it's about probably £5 or £6 a month. Totally, totally worth it. But this is what it is. Wedding Magic Consultation, 30 minutes web conference and uh, details provided upon confirmation. You'll notice that that is the Zoom logo as well. Now, you can't integrate Zoom on the free account, but you can integrate Zoom with the monthly fee. And, and I do that because I use Zoom in my business as well. Now, you'll notice on here, so at the minute, I've only filled out for three dates, and that's because I'm going to show you as a test. But here we go. Client gets this link. They then click onto Wednesday, and then they can look and choose your availability. Now, this is perfect because if you've ever tried to play tennis email, trying to book someone in or trying to book a date in with someone and you say, are you free at two o'clock? No. OK, can you do four o'clock? No, uh, I can't do that. Day. Are you free next week? It just goes on and on and on. This is so simple. You send them a link and they choose your availability. It makes it so easier and it makes that customer experience a lot more seamless as well. So let's say, for example, yeah, do you know what? Wednesday, I think I can do uh, 6 30 p.m. Yeah, great. I'm going to click onto it and then confirm. Then what happens is you just put in two details. You put the name, so we'll put tester and then email. Let's go for, uh, I won't put my email in, but for example, what that will then do is it will then send it in across to you and then you will get a link but like this one. Here we go. There we go. So this was one that I did earlier on. So this is the screen after this. So once you've then clicked schedule event, this is the screen that you will get. Confirmed, you're scheduled with Ricky Locke. The Unlock Podcast interview with Ricky Locke, 9 30 to 10 30, Wednesday, February the 10th. Now, what's also great is that the um, participant also gets an email as well, confirmation of that as well. And you get a notification as the main host of Calendly to say that someone has booked some time in your diary, which you can link with your own Google Calendar or your own online calendar, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, to show you what it looks like as a participant, this is what they would get. So this was a wedding magic consultation, for example, as a tester. Um, this is the email that comes to me because I run obviously Calendly. And it says, uh, great. Hi, Ricky Lock. The event has been scheduled. The invitee is called Calendly Test. That was the name that I put in. And the email is mine, info at rickylock.co.uk. And it tells you that the time and date. Now, obviously, you can connect this and uh, stick this into your calendar as well. Uh, to show you, here's another reminder as well. So this was for a magic consultation. And it says, hi, hope you're well. I'm just sending a friendly reminder. Oh, so this one is the actual reminder. So because I did this test earlier on today, what this does, it tells you that it's a 24-hour reminder that the event's coming up, which is brilliant because then it notifies yourself and it also notifies the participant joining that there's a reminder in 24 hours, we're going to be meeting for an online chat or whatever it might be that you have, which is just brilliant and seamless as well. Uh, and then again, here's another example, Ronald McDonald, a bit of an invitee there, test. Uh, again, what is it? Descriptions of 45 minute chat. And here is the Zoom link. Now I've integrated Zoom as part of the integrations because I wanted to use Zoom to host my online consultations. You can't do that on the free version, but what you could possibly do if you're running the free version is you could um, organize it and then send the email after. But this does it all together, which is brilliant. Now, one of the things that um, you can do as well is you can add questions in here as well. I don't use it for the consultation because I generally find out a lot of the information before booking. But on this, you can put what would you like to discuss? What would you like to talk about? So if I show you, uh, if we go to this one here, for example, the Unlock podcast, let's go for, let's say that this is me sending an email to a guest that I'd like to get on my show. I then click the date. And let's go for 9 a.m. on Friday, February 19th. Confirm. So tester, info, Ricky Locke. There we go. And then how would you like to be introduced on the podcast? So for this one here, this is, um, again, how I can get some information. So it might be a case of, yeah, I'd like to be introduced as Ricky Locke, professional magician, or something like that. What value do you think you can bring to the listeners? And what do you uh, would you like to share and discuss on the show? Is there anything that you don't wish to discuss or bring up on the show? And what links would you like? And again, you can have as many questions as you like, and you can also edit the settings as well so that you can have a personalized email response. So if I show you that, if we go on to say edit here, one thing to just think about here is that you can choose the timeline. So when you send the calendar, maybe you've not edited six months in advance, and maybe you're just doing four weeks at a time like me. So for this bit here, you can actually edit the time and say, do you know what? 
I think I'm going to just book between the 8th and the 13th because I, I might go for a week off, something like that. And then what that does, that will then notify that person that they can only book within that time. All right. So we'll cancel that in a second so we don't do it. You'll notice as well that it links to your calendar as well, but you can set custom hours over here or use your existing schedule. Me, I use the existing schedule, which is on my Calendly, which works really well. And you can set the duration of it as well. So define how long you want to do it for as well. And then here as well, you can then, we cancel that off there. Um, we don't want to mess up my system, do we? And then on here, you can add additional options. So these were the things that I was showing you. How would you like to be introduced on the podcast, et cetera, et cetera. You can do uh, workflows if you want to. I personally don't because I don't really need it for my business, but I do know someone very well that's been using it in their business and it's working really, really well. Notifications as well. So again, calendar invitations, you can personalize the email reminders. So this one goes out, I think about 24 hours before. So it's go, hey, I'm just sending a friendly reminder that our podcast interview with me at this date will be tomorrow. And you can customize that around your brand and your business as well email follow-up if you want to after, and also text reminders if you want to. But I think I'd probably, it's up to you on the text reminders. It could feel like you're bombarding people with emails and texts, but it does work in lots of business. And then again, confirmation page as well. So then uh, you can edit that as well to fit around your branding. And if you was using your business to collect payments, maybe it was like an online lesson, or you wanted to onboard someone to book a product or a, a webinar with you, then you can connect Stripe with this as well. But we're going to cancel this for now because we don't need that as well. But that is pretty much Calendly. And to finish on, really, it, it's changed my life because what it allows me to do, it fills up my calendar. It allows me to make it seamless in booking guests. It makes the user experience really simple as well because they can just get what they need. They can find and choose around their life and yours as well and book it in. And it's done in a matter of seconds. And of course, if you really want to take it further, you can integrate with all of these wonderful products as well. Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Stripe, PayPal, Google Analytics, Gmail, Facebook Pixel. So if you want to track, obviously, your customers as well, which is absolutely brilliant, and loads of different things as well. And that is an absolutely amazing tool that's changed my business. You can get a lot of this stuff on the free. As I said, it's the basic. It's totally free. But I pay for this, the £8 one, and it is absolutely brilliant. I think if it's monthly, let's flick it over. It's $10, which is probably like 7 or 8 quid in the UK, $10 in America. It is so worth it. It's absolutely worth it. I, I totally, totally um, encourage everyone to, to take part in this. It's definitely changed my game this year. It's made me very productive. It's made my user experience very, very great as well. And it's just one of the things that's helped me in 2021. So there you go. That's what I use Calendly for. And I uh, hope this video helped. And uh, yeah, share with your friends. Tell everyone about it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well for more videos. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye.